Hi sweeties, today we are making delicious juicy country style pork ribs in the air fryer. Now, country style ribs are different than regular ribs because they're not actually ribs at all. We'll get into that later, but they cook up juicy and tender in the air fryer. Brush them with a little sweet glaze, so good. Please hit that notification bell, subscribe, and let's get into it. Now there are two types of country style pork ribs. There is the butt end that is closer to the shoulder. It's a tougher cut that does more work. Um, and it's a bit more uneven with more fat on it. And this is better for braising, slow cooking um, at a lower temperature. Now what I'm gonna use for my air fryer ribs is the loin, country style loin ribs which is closer to a pork chop. So it's much more tender, much more uh, even, and it's quicker cooking. So first we'll mix up our spice blend. A little kosher salt, not too much because we're going to add soy sauce, some Chinese five spice powder with anise seeds, cinnamon, fennel, ginger, and pepper. And then we're going to add some ground ginger as well, just to punch up that ginger flavor. I'm going to take those country style loin ribs and puncture them all over with a fork and that's going to let our seasonings and marinade seep down deep into the meat. Now sprinkle the seasoning all over both sides of those country style ribs and don't worry the Ingredients for this recipe will be in a link in the description box. Now give it a little massage to work those spices down in the puncture holes that you made with the fork and then put it all in a zip top bag. Let's get on with that marinade now, shall we? A little hoisin sauce or barbecue sauce is a good substitute. I really like to use that as well. Some honey for extra sweetness. Grab that honey bear and pour some honey in there. And then some soy sauce. And I'm using low sodium soy sauce. We already have some salt in the seasoning rub. We're gonna add some soy sauce in there as well. Give that a little mix to blend the honey in because the honey is so much thicker than the rest of your ingredients. It takes a little work to blend that up together. Pour your marinade over those ribs, but only half because we're going to save half to use as a glaze during cooking. So half the marinade goes in the bag and save half. Squeeze out the excess air in that bag, squish it all around so the marinade gets all up and through those ribs. Park those ribs in your refrigerator overnight and that's really gonna give you the maximum flavor is to let them marinate overnight in the fridge. If you don't have that much time, you can let them sit on the counter for about 45 minutes up to about an hour and then cook it right away. It's not the best flavor, but it's still pretty good. Pour the marinade that you're going to use as a glaze, pour that into another container and put that in the refrigerator for later use. It's time to get cooking. I like to put a little water in the bottom of my cooking pot. I'm using the Ninja Foodie, so that allows me to do that. I'm not sure if your air fryer has that capability, but it just helps to catch the sugars that fall off the marinade um, and keeps it from burning on the bottom of your pot. Not really mandatory, it's just something I like to do. Get those country style pork ribs, drain the excess marinade, and lay them in a single layer on top of a rack. Now you don't want the touching the water so it's above the water and we're gonna lay those out. Try to get a little space in between so it can cook evenly. Thank you. 
set the temperature and time on your air fryer and then let it go. The timer went off and it's time to check how those country style pork ribs are doing. They're starting to get brown. I'm gonna give them a turn to make sure they cook evenly. But the best way to see how far this cooking has gone is to check the internal temperature. So we're gonna grab our instant read thermometer. All right, that's up to 138. We wanna take these pork ribs at least to 170. So we're gonna go for another 10 to 15 minutes. All right, open that bad boy up and look at what we got. Mm. Mm -hmm. Country style pork ribs. These are the pork loin country ribs in the Ninja Foodi. Using it as an air fryer. Let's check that temperature again so we know exactly where we are. One centimeter. Ooh, that is done. That is done. It could even go a little bit less than that. So we're going to brush on our reserved marinade as a glaze. Now this is the marinade that we reserved in a separate container. It didn't touch any raw pork. We're gonna brush it on both sides of these country style pork ribs. Mm, 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 it's gonna be so good. And you know, when you're making this recipe, you can customize your glaze. You can use, instead of honey, maple syrup, brown sugar, agave nectar, any of those will work. If you use brown sugar, you may have to heat it up just to melt the sugar to get it to blend. Now let's set that Ninja Foodi to broil and we're just going to cook it for a short time to really bake on those, that glaze, just two or three minutes. Two, one, <gasps> it's almost time. Ninja Foodi says, cool it, just wait. Just wait a minute or two, let it cool before you go and grab these out because you don't want to burn yourself. Be careful. Don't those look good? Oh, man. Let those country style pork ribs rest for a few minutes before serving. I like to sprinkle them with a little green onion. This is so good on top of some white rice, some steamed broccoli would be delicious with this as well. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little furikake. That's a Japanese rice seasoning. My daughter brought some back for me after her trip to Japan. It's got some chili flake in there, some sesame seeds, a little sea salt, a little nori. It's real good. Cut you up a slice. It's tender, it's juicy. It's time to eat. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Give us a big old thumbs up and come on back. Have a delicious day.